get into sports fan, because a sports fan is just blind loyalty. When you got a team, that's your team, right? That's your team for life. That team sucks, and you people pay money to watch that suck for yourselves. <laughs> I wish I had a fan base like that. <laughs> Hardcore, man. Roll out here next time with your face painted, look like me. <laughs> Somebody says, who's your comedian? You're gonna say, James P. Connolly. Someone says, is he funny? You go, well, you know, maybe not this year, but next year. <laughs> Tell me about myself. I part of this, I used to be in the Marine Corps, that's my job. Part of this. And, uh, oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you. you. You people look at me, they look, man, don't take this the wrong way. But you don't look anything like a Marine. Well, no shit, I don't look like a Marine. Because that's exactly what the enemy would be expecting me to look like. Tell <laughs> so what they got to do there, no, we would love a man in uniform. I see this every airport in America. This is a mythical power. You pay attention next time, put this in the bank. Women love a man in uniform. Hell yes, they do. Except for adult Boy Scout troop leaders. <laughs> <laughs> that is the creepiest shit I've ever seen in my life. I saw a troop going through the airport. I want to grab the kid and say, look, I don't want to scare you, but there's a grown man dressed just like you. <laughs> Attempting to blend in with you right now. <laughs> Your motto is be prepared. That's the son of a bitch we're talking about right now. <laughs> I love that, you know, man. <laughs> Actually, went to college on a Marine Corps scholarship. The Marine Corps was my student loan. So when I hear recent college grads go, oh, my student loans are killing me. My student loan actually tried to kill me. <laughs> and the amazing thing is, I went to Harvard. The Marine Corps paid for Harvard. Now, I'm not bragging when I say that. I appreciate the woo, but if you think I'm getting cocky, let's just take a moment and let's together review the trajectory of my life. Harvard, then the Marine Corps, then stand-up comedy. Hey, yeah. I recently took my parents' hopes and dreams and I, I chipped away at the one job problem that you have. You know what's fun is? Go to a Harvard reunion when you become a stand-up comedian. It's like, well, what do you do for a living? Well, I run a non-profit organization and we supply blood to children in need. What do you do? Oh, me? Well, I run a non-profit career. <laughs> and I sell my blood for money, so maybe we buy business. <laughs> Give me a little too much credit for being smart. I'm gonna be honest with you. Just a little too much. You know what it is? I have the voice of authority. That's the problem. Sometimes I have no idea what the hell I'm talking about, but then I hear myself saying, "I go, well, maybe I do." 